Hi guys, welcome to another Vlogmas video. I am barely making it because this video you're seeing is going up today. And I will say when you can't pre-film, it is a lot harder. Also, sorry, my hair is just like wet. I just got out of the shower and I didn't realize how long it is. I am loving it because I really want long hair and Okay, getting sidetracked. I just wanted to throw in some footage and some pictures of yesterday. I was gonna start the vlog off with that, but I just kind of wanted you guys to have some context. So basically, all day yesterday, we were at the TV station just kind of like um, collecting toys and everything for Toys for Tots. And then when the event was over, my boss, well, my former boss was like, do you wanna grab dinner? And I was like, oh yeah, sure. Like I didn't have any like plans or anything. So I was like, yeah, why not? So we go to um, this restaurant kind of like near the station and it was so good. So I will insert all of uh, that footage there. I just want to say thank you to her as well. Um, for taking me to dinner. That was so nice. Okay, so I haven't really started the video, but my boss ordered this drink and I'm trying it first just because I want to. All right, let's taste it. It's very refreshing. It's good. We're at the stubborn meal, by the way, so I don't want to like spill it because then that'll be like 50 cents on the table there. <laughs> I just went with the typical rose because it's just like a go to drink for me. Okay, now fast forwarding on, I have a couple packages here to unbox. Nothing too crazy and exciting. And if you're wondering why I'm opening this, it's because it's not like Christmas presents. It's more just like things that I will need on the daily. Um, so it's not like anything special. So I'm just gonna pop this open. I don't know why they use boxes like this for like tiny things. Look at my cute little dry, ooh dry shampoo. I got the travel size. This is like 10 bucks. If I remember, I will link it down below. Um, but it's just the Amica Perk Up Dry Shampoo and it's travel size because I have the bigger version in my bag, which I'll show you guys in just a minute. Packing peanuts or packing paper. I'll toss that over there. And then I have this, which I kind of want to try right now because I've seen so many things about this brush, at least like back in the day. So um, it's the only one I could really think of to try and I might do a review on it, but it is this wet brush. Um, it looks like this. Again, if I remember, I will link it down below as well. I just got the black because I don't really need like zebra print or anything. I think this is cheaper too than the other prints. And I know these things are weird to purchase. Granted, I already have dry shampoo. I already have a hairbrush, which I will tell you this quick little story about my hairbrush because it's so funny. So this is the brush. How do I get this thing out? I'm gonna try it real quick. Oh. I might like this brush better than my current brush, but this is nice. Oh, I try not to brush my hair when it's wet because I don't like losing hair, but actually not a lot of hair came out. Um, I don't know if you can even see how much hair came out, but not a lot came out, which is great. Um, so these two products I got to carry in my bag with me because after cycle bar classes, I like to go in the mornings rather than in the evenings just because I get off work somewhat later and I don't like feeling like I might be late for the class or whatever. So I want to carry this with me in my bag so I can just like perk up my hair, like make it look good and then have a brush because I want to leave my brush that I currently use that I've had since like fifth grade at my house because I cannot risk losing that. Um, I've had it for so long and I will tell you the quick story of that brush. I had this friend, um, her name was Nicole. I know this is like off topic, but she had really, really long hair like past her butt and she used that brush and it's called a Mason Pearson brush. I don't know. And then my 
friend who lived across the street with me, her mom got it in like a gift bag or something. And I love that brush and it was so nice. And it's still so nice. Like it's held up this long. Like since I was in fifth grade, I was like 12 or whatever. The brush, I begged my parents for it because that brush cost $50. And at the time, like $50 was a lot of money. Like, I mean, well, it still is a lot of money. The brush, like a hairbrush was like $50. And I guess I was already starting my bougie because I wanted that brush so bad. I begged and begged for it. We went to Bloomingdale's to go get it. I don't know why in fifth grade, like I wanted an expensive hairbrush, but that's what I wanted. And I wanted it so bad because it was so nice to the hair and everything. And it felt good on your scalp. So I just really wanted the brush until this day. I still use that brush. It goes with me on trips. It goes with me everywhere and I love it and it's held up. So definitely cost per use for the Mason Pearson brush. Um, the bristles, like I should just go and get it and show you guys. But um, I'll just take you guys along since this is a vlog. I should move around a little bit. Oh, hey, I guess I don't know if Valerie's getting rid of the fedora or not. But coming in to the bathroom. So this brush came with a cleaning kit. I still have the little um, thing to clean the bristles. I need to clean them. It's really hard to clean, not going to lie. But the bottom bristles, if you can see, the black ones, that's like boar's hair or something. And then the um, like clear is just, I think polyester, like plastic. I don't know really, but this is what the brush looks like and it was worth the $50. It is held up so well and I don't want to risk losing it or having it like fall out because I've had it for so long and I just want to keep it here. So in my bag, I want to carry like my, uh, this wet brush that I got off Amazon. I'm going to keep my little mini dry shampoo. So we're also going to do a little once in my bag here. Um, so this is the big version. Look at how freaking cute. <laughs> we have like the big mama over here and then this tiny little one right here, um, which will be great. I need to order some more of this too. It's kind of expensive, but this has lasted me, I wanna say like over four months. Like this lasts me forever. This will probably last me a while too cause I don't like go crazy with it. But I just have like masks. I do have a soap, which is so funny. I like to take like a paper towel and like wipe off my face. So, and then this is just kind of like how I clean my face. I just put damp paper towel, put a little soap, and then just like wash my face after the class. Um, and then I have deodorant, obviously. I have a pad, a card to the wine room. My sunglasses. These are little wet wipes for computer screens and keyboards, and I really needed this when I was cleaning out my computer, when I was cleaning up my computer, it was really dirty. Cleaning wipes from work, a work mask. They like provided all these um, like kits. This little bag, which I don't really need in here, but I have, I have my glasses. Cause I like to wear these when I'm on the computer, especially. And then in this pouch, I have my computer charger wall plug-in thing, which I don't really need in my bag. So I'm gonna just put that there. I have this um, that goes into my computer and you, it has the USB side and the computer side and this battery is gonna die. I need to change it out. I have a pen, hand sanitizer, and a little uh, USB drive. Uh, that's kind of random stuff, but I'm like super unorganized in this bag, but it's fine. Then I have my pen. Oh, I have a little fortune and this says your love life. <laughs> this is so funny that I kept this. It's funny that the camera cut off when I was reading my love fortune here. Um, it just says your love life will be happy and harmonious. I love how I kept that in the bag. Maybe we should still keep that in there because we're still praying over here. Um, and then I have this like mini um, sample perfume. And this is also good for after like my class. I can just like put this on and I don't have to carry like a whole big perfume thing. I'm going to put this in here and then also this brush in here just to have... I'll normally have like my work clothes or whatever I'm wearing for the day. And then I just put my cycle bar like 
my workout stuff in here, my clothes. So it's just everything's together in this big bag. And what else am I doing today? I have no idea what I'm doing today, but I know I'm gonna edit this video. I have to film something for work later this evening and everything. So yeah, it's just gonna be kind of like uh, a chill day, but also I need to get like some content for the vlog. I wanted to kind of share why we're not putting our tree up. And as you guys can see, like right here is where our tree would normally be. We have stuff everywhere and we're using this time to kind of like clean out and everything because we just have so much stuff and we're just using this time to clean it all up, clean it out so like next year we can have a tree and like put all of our decorations up. Um, that's kind of like why we're focusing on just like cleaning stuff up because we don't have any room for decorations and stuff and it's just so sad. Luckily, I do have decorations in my room, so that's always good. But um, yeah, I'm sorry this vlog wasn't really like a vlog. It was more just like unpackaging things, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as you could. Again, it's just kind of like my daily life. I kind of want to just eat. I'll probably go to Starbucks, but I'm gonna start another vlog. So you'll get to see this gorgeous wet hair and the shirt again, probably at the beginning of the next video. Cause I do wanna get Starbucks today. It's so addicting, oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now. Hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. You and me.